Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a slicer using a bar chart, right? Now, what you see here on my screen is basically I have a stat column chart and I also have a traditional slicer which is created uh, using the slicer uh, visual that is uh, available within Power BI. However, you don't have a lot of functionalities within this particular uh, visual. For example, I can't even change the colors of the uh, tile that are, or the uh, category that I am selecting in a particular visual. This gets challenging, especially when you have, let's say, just two of them, the two of the categories to select. Now, you don't know which one is selected because of the colors, right? It works very differently. And also, uh, it becomes challenging to read this. Right now, the slicer that I'm going to show is something like this. Right now, let me get, get rid of this. Now, if you take a look at this particular slicer, it looks very lively with all different colors being used over here. Same as the one that are that is that are available over here. Let's get started to actually see how we can go ahead and create a slicer something like this. Right. Let's get rid of this one over here and let's also get rid of this slicer over here okay now we have an item type column which is being used for the slicer so let's bring in the stack bar chart okay and then let's bring in the uh, item type now this is the item type that we are going to use okay and now i'm going to uh, create a new measure and let's call this as uh, slicer measure okay and then i need a fixed value to, for this and then and this i'm just going to type in one and press enter okay now i have my slicer measure which i'm going to bring into the values over here so now you can see here that we've got the uh, bar chart created okay however uh, the um, the names of these categories are appearing outside right now we need to fix that for that, we will have to use the uh, external tool tabular editor. Now, if you don't know how to install the external tabular editor, please uh, check out another video which is available on my channel. And then I'm going to click on tabular editor over here. So once this open up, I'm going to expand the tables over here and then right click on table, create new calculation group. So once it's it's asking us to enter the name so let's give it a name let's call this as slicer labels press enter and then right click on this create new calculation item so and then let's call this as uh, labels okay and press enter now under this property which is expression over here we're going to type in selected measure open and close the bracket okay and then let's select format string expression and over here we're going to type in selected value okay and then open bracket and then go to your table where you have the data which we are using in the slicer which is the item type i'm going to just pull this over here and then close the bracket and then save this particular uh, file over here and then when you come to power bi it will ask you to refresh so let's click on refresh and now if you see here a slicer label uh, table has been created right under the name by the name name over here so let's go to this slicer over here and drag in this name into the filter on this visual right so once you drag in over here you will see something called as labels which is created so let's click on this okay so once we have this, let's go back to the format chart and click on show labels. Now we have the labels appearing over here. So now let's get rid of these labels over here. So I'm going to go here, turn off Y axis, X axis, and also turn off the title, right? And then you will still see that there is slicer measure and item type, which is visible over here. So you can simply go down under Y axis. You will still see that title is turned on. You can simply turn this off. Likewise for X axis, uh, you can simply turn this off. And now you have the visual uh, over here. Okay. Since these are not appearing here in the center of the uh, chart, 
So let's go to the data labels position over here and select inside center. So now we have this in center. Now the next thing that we should be doing is that we need to map the colors of this particular chart here like the one which we saw in the example earlier. For that I'm going to create a new column over here okay and I'm going to call this column as item type color okay um, then I'm going to just select in the column item type okay you might say that hey hey you can simply bring in the item type here into the legend and you will see the colors will change that is not going to work because we are going to get back the values over here so I'm going to close this and then bring in the new item type calculated column that we just created into the legend over here and you will see that the colors have started appearing now right so you can play around with this uh, and this one thing that has happened here now is that we are seeing we've started to see the legend over here so we can come here and turn off the legend so we don't get to see that as you can see here the entire visual over here is interactive like if you make this smaller it's going to take the size of that particular uh, visual over here so let's if you click on baby before you will see that this is getting now getting filtered you can go to the format tab edit interactions and then when you click on this and ask for filter and then when, now when you click on baby food you'll only see baby food clothes for example cosmetics fruits you'll notice the colors are here are exactly matching right now this is how you create a uh, uh, a, sli a slicer with a different colors using the bar chart. I hope you have learned something new today. This is exciting and you should definitely have these kind of slicers in your dashboard to give a different look and give it a modern feel to your reports and dashboards. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you so much for watching.